This is Jesse Goldberg's Strassler, joined by Lansing Lugnard shortstop Jordan Groshans. Jordan, I was reading back in the day for you what it took for you to get onto the club team back home, what it took for you in high school ball. How much work did you put in first back when you were, let's say, trying to make that club team? A lot, you know, it was, it was tough. You know, you're playing with the best guys around, so it's not, nothing's given to you or anything. So me and my dad and my brother just went to work, you know, every day, every night, just trying to get better, so. Was there an off season where you said to yourself, I'm good, I'm good at baseball right now? Uh, no, actually. Um, no matter what numbers or anything I do, it's there's always room to get better, you know. So there's always one guy across the street that wants it more than you do. So well, for you, you've got your older brother who yeah. wants it so much too. For you and your family, how important is baseball? It's big, you know, it's it's a big part of our lives. At the end of the day, we're still family, you know, nothing's gonna change that. Not a sport, nothing. So we just we've been the way we're raised just to have fun with the game, respect the game and then try and play it as long as you can, you know. So did you pitch to your brother growing up, or did he pitch to you? No, no. My, my dad actually did all that, you know, out in the backyard. He, he built us a cage after work, come home. No matter what time it was, he'd take us out there go hit. So I know that's something that, that went a long way and still does. So, Is there something that he told you with regard to hitting that has really stuck with you? Just stay consistent, you know. Don't If you're going through a slump or if you're going really good, don't change anything. You know, stick to your swing stick to your ability trust it so if things start to go south you know just relax stick to your approach and then keep doing what you've been doing that got you here so was there a time in high school or playing club ball where you started to slump and you thought about that uh yeah last year you know i was i was doing really well um sat out for about two weeks and i came back and i started to struggle really bad and i was questioning my swing I was like, man, like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Try to change something. And then I just called my dad one night, and he was like, dude, you, you got here for a reason. Do what you're doing. So just go back to the basics. Do what got you here and just relax and, and go back to what you're doing. So About stick to your swing. How did you find your swing? My dad built it from the ground up, so me and my brother. So um, ever since we were kids, I've had the same swing, same approach, same everything. Have you always been able to use the opposite field? Um, that was something I struggled with when I was younger. I was I was a big pull guy, and then once I got to pro ball and started facing higher velocities, more pitches, stuff like that, I learned to use that side of the field a lot better. Um, so now that's something that I really try and try and use a lot as the opposite field. I mean, there's swing, but there's also pitch recognition. Yeah. How's your pitch recognition come along? Uh, a long way. You know, last year is something I struggled with. Um, I just swung at everything, um, but now that I'm here and there's guys that are college guys, a lot older than I am that. They know how to paint the zone, throw pitches that, that you can't hit, you know, good pitchers pitches. But just knowing what, what you want, what you want to hit, what you don't want to hit is, is big for me. So, How well do you understand the pitcher's plan of attack against you? Uh, pretty well. You know, we have scouting reports. We have all that stuff. Um, but for me, it starts in on-deck circle. You know, what did he throw the two guys before me? Uh, what is he like to throw in certain counts, stuff like that? What's his better pitch? Is, is that pitch on that night? Stuff like that. It'll, it's, all, it's a lot. So, Are you seeing pitchers change the way that they're pitching you? Uh, here and there. You know, I've started to see a lot more off-speed pitches. So for me, it's just it's it's really simple. Just eliminate the pitches that you don't want to swing at. So if I'm up there and it's a fastball, curveball, changeup guy, if I, if I want a fastball, I'm going to cancel out a change of a curveball. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to swing at it. I'm going to wait for the fastball and jump on it. So. This has been a lot of talk about offense. Let's talk base running because I've had an interview with you where you saw, talked about how much you were working on your foot speed. How's your foot speed feeling? Uh, it feels good right now. Um, the biggest thing I'm working on is is confidence on the base paths. You know, just having that urge to steal second, steal third, stuff like that. Um, I haven't had a lot of learning along that point with base running because I've never really done it. So this year, uh, Dave Pan, our first base coach in Dallas, they've been really really keep me on uh, early work, working with me on just getting that confidence to steal second, so uh, steal third, all that. So right now we're just working on, we're going with dirt ball reads first, you know, so just taking advantage of that, get yourself in scoring position, and then once we get there, we'll, we'll work to a stolen bag. You got a dirt ball read. They gave you a stolen base yeah. in Bowling Green. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Um, I was really pumped about that. You know, it was, it was good because it got me in scoring position, then DJ came up clutch with a big hit to score me. So it's just little stuff like that that people – take for granted sometimes that that's how important those bags are it's 60 feet 90 feet whatever it is you get that bag you're in 20 position now change the ball game so let's say you get to first base what are you looking for 
dirt ball re baby. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's, what I'm that's what I'm looking for. Um, How quickly can you pick it up? Right out of his hand. You know, that's what we work on is is not waiting until it hits the dirt, uh, reading the flight of the pitch, the level of pitch, stuff like that, especially like what pitch it is, you know. Um, it's harder to do on fastballs, but basically what we do is Pano is unbelievable at knowing what's coming and what counts. So say it's a one-two count, uh, Kirk is up, big hitter, I'm on first, most likely a curveball is coming, so I'll get a bigger primary lead and then advance on my secondary, and once I see it, I was hands a breaking ball and it's down in the dirt, just take off. So. Let's talk defense now. Yeah. Facets of the game. Is there something defensively that you've really worked on? Uh, just working on my footwork, and, and I'm a bigger guy at short. A lot of people think I'm going to go to third, and I want to try and stay there as long as I can. So basically just, just getting low. You know, I'm a big guy. I can't lean over at the waist. i got to get down on my legs. So that's the one thing we've been working on is getting down, working through the ball, and working everything towards first base. That's something watching you working with Dallas McPherson, he too, power hitting infielder, yep. worked his way from the Midwest League to the Major Leagues. What's it like working with Dallas? It's great. You know, we have a good relationship. I trust him and, and everything he teaches me. So, and it's it's 100% helped me along the way. So I'm, I'm become a better player since I've been here in a person. So I couldn't thank him more for that. We've seen you make the strong throw this year. Was there a throw you made earlier in your career that really stood out? Um, I would say playoffs my senior year. Um, my buddy Cody Wagner is in center field. Big playoff game, run on first, tie ball game. Uh, big situation, kid hits the ball in the gap with two outs. And I'm like deep left center for the cut. He throws it to me, and I throw him out at home to like save the run. Um, that was probably the highlight. That was probably the best one. So you said you were working on growing yourself as a person too with Dallas. Yeah. What areas? Just maturity. You know, um, it's I'm 19 years old. There's guys that are 23, 24 years old out here. Um, nobody's perfect. You know. So basically, for me, it's just. If I'm hitting 340 or 240 or 400, whatever it is, just keep the same attitude, mindset, you know, be the best teammate that I can be. Um, and even though I'm young, 19, carry myself like I'm a 23, 24-year-old. So, Have there been players that you met either last year or this year in the Blue Jays organization who have made a really good impact on you? Uh, Ryan Noda was one of them. Um, he was here last year. He's a good dude. Um, talked to me a lot in spring training on just how to carry myself, what and what not to do is a big one. Um, Another one, probably I would say Pogkle. Nick Pogkle's here. You know, he's same guy every day. John Aiello, people like that. It doesn't matter what their stats are; they're the same person on and off the field. So, um, just working with them on stuff like that, it, it, it's a big deal because I know I have high expectations of myself. Um, so it's just having them there for me is a big thing, just to help me along the way. That it's not everybody's gonna hit 380, you know. So. Um, just it's came a long way and I can be more thankful for them. How high are your own expectations? Pretty big. You know, I'm I'm that guy that I wanna I wanna put up big numbers, I wanna help the team win and I, I think that's why I get frustrated so so many times is it's not that I get out, I don't care about getting out, it's I wanna put up for the team, help the team win, stuff like that. So um, but the expectations for myself are high. You know, I've always been like that. My my dad knows that. My brother knows that. It doesn't matter who, if it's Clint Kershaw or Verlander. You know, I want to do something big. So. And lastly, this is baseball. Besides baseball, what else are you really interested by? Fortnite, Fortnite, Apex Legends, stuff like that. Um, How good are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Um, not to brag, but I'm pretty good. Um, besides that, watching movies with my grandma. You know, that's something we do all the time in the offseason, probably twice a week. I'm a big movie guy, Avengers, all that stuff. So, that's Jordan, it. thank you. Yep, appreciate it. Thank you. Lansing Lugnuts infielder Jordan Groshans. I'm Jesse Goldberg-Strassel, and this is Lugnuts Baseball.